In this tutorial, I will discuss the tools which are not included in Corelltra X7 but now available in Corelltra 22. Click on Windows and then click on Dockers and then on Properties. Here you will find a new icon. And this new icon is bitmap effect. By this effect, we can apply the effects that were available in CorelDRA X7 for bitmaps. So here we can apply all these effects to vectors and text. Click on this add button and we can choose effect from here I will select the plastic and you will see that we are adding this effect now to direct to the text in Corelldra X7 it was only possible when we make the text bitmap but now here we can direct apply this effect to the text now we can add we can change the color after adding this effect also we can edit the properties from here we can change the depth and then adjust it now we can also off this effect from here you can see that now this effect has disappeared and we can add multiple effects to this text from here now click on add button and select the start and select the wet pen effect from here you can see that we have added an other effect to the same text so we can change the properties from here now we can add an other effect also to the same text we will select the blur tool and will apply the gussing blur and adjust the effect from here Click on OK. Now you can see that we have added three effects to a single text. Now we can off the effects and can watch how the text is looking. The scene blur is uh, looking not effective on this text so we will delete this effect from here and now you can see that these two effects remain after deleting of cosine blur now the next uh, tool is the sampling tool which is not included in color x7 you can see that it is the poor quality image now we will resample it click cut bitmap resample and here are some options we will convert it to, to 300 resolution select 300 uh, we can also change the width and height from here but i will go with the same size now here are four options we are going with illustration we can adjust the noise reduction from here Now you can see that the time 
is calculated it will take five seconds so click on ok so you can see that uh, it has been resampled and it is looking better than the original one now the next one is photorealistic effect click on bitmap the sample 300 resolution and now select the photorealistic adjust the properties calculating is on it will take 5 seconds also so you can see that uh, photo realistic effect is later better than the slightly better than the illustration these are three reference original and illustrator illustration and then photo realistic i think the photo realistic is good so we can improve the quality of an image which is of poor quality by the help of this resample tool now the next one is image trace if you want to change some colors and an image we can apply this effect so click on the object trace bitmap outline trace how high quality image now click on adjustment We will select the illustration. Now it will give us estimated time. It will take 28 seconds. Click on OK. Now you can see that this is a illustration. We can ungroup this object. It is now a vector. Now we can apply the photorealistic effect to this image photorealistic. Click on photorealistic. It will give us estimated time click on ok now you can see that this is photorealistic effect and this image is also now a vector now if, if we want to adjust some color some color in this image we can do it by color style effect color for color style drag this image to the color style harmony now if you want to adjust the green ice cream we can adjust it from here you can see that the color of the ice cream has been changed now break the link between the color style the next tool is node alignment we are adding multiple nodes here by different distance now select these nodes by the help of shape tool alignment and distribution tool distribute this e only this tool was not available in CorelDRAW x7 we have distributed the nodes equally now if you want to adjust the these nodes 
if you want to align align these nodes you will select these nodes and then click here to align it if i want to adjust these nodes to the bottom select these nodes and click on the this tool to align these on bottom the final tool which is available in corel draw x2020 but not available in corel draw x7 is changing of the theme we can adjust the theme from here click here medium dark and black you can select any theme according to your choice i will go with the black so these were some important commands that were not available in corel draw x7 and now available in corel draw 2020 thank you